from the day we started in 77, we wanted to be the biggest band in the world. How do you guys write songs in the band? What's it? What's um, it? We write together, we write apart, we just do whatever works. It's always the song wins. The song is the boss. Not any one of the five of us. The song's the boss. If it's a great song, we do it. Rock was becoming very um, self-indulgent. And uh, this, go back to the idea of songs that were a little more to the point. I always felt that there was, there was an area that we were we hadn't tapped into as regards to just a more a more commercial feel. Why can't uh, a rock group sell records to an Elton John fan or a Michael Jackson fan or whatever without losing your original market? Longevity comes out of your catalogue. It's like constantly wanting to create songs so you can keep playing and not just become a nostalgia act. I think for me, that's the driving force. Is always hoping and thinking and probably knowing in the back of your mind that you're still able to write a better song than you've ever written before. Whether it can ever live up to the past reputations of other songs, I mean, nothing that we write now, no matter how brilliant it is, is ever going to be able to play catch up with a photograph or a pour some sugar on me because of the time factor and it's in everybody's DNA and it's logged in like the rings of a tree, you know, I mean, the fact that we have certain songs that have, as we like to say, they've remained hits they're on every jukebox in every strip bar or pub or you know Spotify area of the world, whatever. And these songs are constantly getting played. You know, like for, for bands that we aspired to, to follow, like the Beatles, you know, it'd be like their Let It Be or their Belong and Winding Road or the Zeppelin, it's Stay Away and Whole Lot of Love or Springsteen's Born to Run or whatever. The songs are just constantly Sweet Home Alabama by Skinner. They're just played every day, they, everywhere. They, in the they world. basically become part of the culture. Yeah, they just and you're you're intertwined it with that. They're like air or trees. You know, I mean, they're just there. You know what I mean? And some of our stuff has, has done that. And I think the fact that we tour a lot and it, it establishes a relationship with the fans that the it's reliable. Mm -hmm. 